Justin, have you ever met a doomsday prepper in Florida? Ah, uh, no. Mm. I've met no one. You're so all about <laughs> oh, that. No. I, I mean, I would oh, have no, no. Way of knowing if someone was one. They would not, probably tell you in like a matter of seconds. Yeah, yeah they're like vegans that way. <laughs> Making enemies today, huh? Yeah, I guess I should that. speak for myself, really. I just wanted to, you know, put out a shot, let it, let it fly, let it ring out. Sometimes you gotta. You know, I haven't, I haven't encountered. Like, I thought I was gonna encounter way more like lunatics. Yeah. <laughs> There's not been too many. There's been a few. <laughs> yeah. Some funny people. So this is. I, I. I feel like I had to preface this with like, I'm not trying to be political. Yeah. <laughs> a funny thing that I saw. And it was someone wrote on a white sheet, like with, with oh, a little like, coupon. It looked like it looked like clerk style. Hmm. White sheet said, in the South is not a good way to start. <laughs> I'm not story. going there. <laughs> I'm going to Jason. I'm not going there. Uh, and all they wrote on it was Donald Trump, the president of the United States. It's just hanging <laughs> off the <of> garage. <laughs> and, and I'm just I saw it. And I was like, all right. Like, true. Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> this is correct, yes. And I could just I just want to picture that person. <laughs> like, I, uh... Standing there after drawing on it with a marker all proudly, like that yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I am well, correct about this. He believes <laughs> that uh, you know, he's he's triggering the lips as they drive by. He, it's not my president. Lips. He triggered me to have a, a good smile and a hearty <laughs> laugh. <laughs> not my yes. president. Oh. <laughs> We've got, what are life's three greatest pleasures? Food, sleeping, yeah. and masturbation. Well, I would change masturbation to another one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <Food>. <laughs> I'm only on a current <laughs> vibe right now. Yeah. I'm going to say... Sex, food, and personal fulfillment. Action Comics 1. <laughs> nice. A real nice pen. <laughs> <laughs> and some blankets. Uh, to Ooh. kill your enemies, oh, see them driven before you, and the hear the lamentations of the women. <laughs> <laughs> This is round one. <laughs> Who hasn't gone? Clever, <laughs> 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 I mean, that's basically like a quiplash prompt that you just... Yeah, I know. What's better know. quiplash yeah. prompt than a lot of the ones we waiting get. for them to give us one, so I thought we'd... <laughs> Gotta make a custom quiplash set, man. Can you believe that we've been doing this show for so long, and with all the, like, controversial and incendiary issues, we pretend to have no stance on. We've never accidentally said something extremely regrettable. Well, I mean, I yeah. just had my moment today, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that DJ Khaled impression. I'm still really great. sorry. I... Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, all the shit I say, you know? The thing is, though, like, Nick, if you ever get accused of being, like, really racist, what yeah. you should do is just start a podcast and a Patreon. Okay. And then that's, like, your Ooh, escape plan. Topical? What's the podcast? Just owning the libs. Oh. Taking like one <laughs> one news story out of context that's completely ridiculous and pretending that the entire half of the country that supports that belief acts exactly the same way. This is going to help me? Well, you'll make a lot of money. <laughs> oh. Kennedy's original speech said, Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what's love got to do, got to do with it. <laughs> or what you can do for a Klondike bar. I'm into like it. Like a podcast called What's the Problem? <laughs> I'm, I think Lemmy would take issue with that. He tweeted a picture of himself in an orgy of himself the other day, and I felt nice. kind of weird about it. Wait, uh, an orgy of himself? Uh, an orgy of himself? Did he clone yeah. himself and have sex yeah. with a bunch well, of copies of himself? He took, like, four pictures in different positions. One of them was him ramming himself in the ass in his hotel room, <laughs> and he tweeted it. So if Yo. you want to see Lemmy butt naked, it's on his Twitter. That's if you could ram yourself in the ass, would you do it? It depends. <laughs> Is it before or after the colonoscopy? <laughs> a surprising thing to find stuck to the bottom of your shoe. The lamentations of your women or your sense of purpose. And Chad is on board with that. Goddamn. Well, I mean, why not? I well. don't... I don't think I have a fuckable ass. You don't think so? <laughs> why do you say that? It's hairy. That's, that's Look, a I'm all for self-deprecating right humor, but this is a little... <laughs> this is too far! Come on! Be nice to yourself! You got a great ass, Ryan! <laughs> I have a hairy butthole, Next in line. Yeah. and if I'm fucking my own ass, I don't want to fuck a hairy butt. 
<laughs> That's fair. That's, See, you actually convinced me. That's yeah. fair. I know. It's like the fairest <laughs> statement you could ever make. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm out. An unusual <laughs> special skill to include on your resume. Real good dome or quumming. <laughs> nice, yeah. You know, I mean, like, I've read about people who are flexible enough to suck their own dick. Yeah. And most of the time, anecdotally, they say it feels a lot more like sucking a dick than it does getting your dick sucked. You know? So I would imagine if you could, if you had a dick long enough to fuck yourself in the ass, you'd probably feel more like you're getting fucked in the ass than you. No, nah, but like, ass. see, what I think is that you have people who are yeah, bad at sucking is. dick. <laughs> <laughs> Might be right. I mean, he's got a good point. What's the best way to suck a dick? Look, what's you do really? That with the <laughs> what's really in a camel's hump? Depends. Is it a twink or poo? <laughs> Well, you tongue up that hard bit on the shaft, and then you do that little rotator move with the your glands. Yeah, the glands. Yeah. And then you grapefruit him. Yeah, you do the grapefruit. Yeah. What's the eggplant? The will tell you when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> the eggplant is just a an emoji that looks phallic. That's all? That's so why they put it with the three drops all the time. Yeah, yeah. it's like a coded yeah. conversation. It's a hieroglyph. Yeah. I learned about this on the news. Recently? That, mm. that is way done. too big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this it's guy's dick is smaller attitude. than an eggplant. <laughs> Tells me everything I need to know. <laughs> Most people think Julius Caesar said, A2, Brute, when he got sad, but what he really said was, What the fuck, Richard? Or, E2, Brute. <laughs> I really like E2 oh. Brutie. I <laughs> voted for what the fuck, Richard. And my name was before I read E2 Brutie. E2 Brutie. E2 Brutie. Because he was stabbed, he was really in a panic, you know? He had a lot yeah. of blood in his mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. <laughs> got destroyed. I just really like the what the fuck, Richard video. Oh. I can't so believe you've done this. That would have been good, too. <laughs> An inventive way to get rid of head lice. Have Superman throw you into the sun, or new head. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really good answer so far. Yeah. And Bear, how do you give good head? What's the um, difference <laughs> between what the fuck Richard and what the fuck Gavin? Because I know that one. That's where the guy what? makes like a... He takes a vape pit and then makes like a tornado, and then his friend just blows it away. And then the guy goes... No, that, that guy just goes, dude. No, he goes, what the fuck, Gavin? So, Adam, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But okay, Adam. Well, fuck, Richard is like three, like, I want to say they're like 14, and they're playing that Frisbee golf game. <laughs> and he goes to throw it, oh, and he just, heard fucking, of that. he just throws it right into, like, the highway next to him. <laughs> right into, like, a car, and his friend goes, what the fuck, Richard? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Catch him, Derry! <laughs> it is a real good video. I think the best way to give head would probably be to like, you know, you got to pay a lot of attention to the the balls. They're, I think they're in the yeah, Put them in a vacuum. Yeah, yeah. An underrated feature of a blowjob. Mm -hmm. You got to give the grundle a good chundle, you know? That's right. There's even a round for it. Fleshy fun bridge. <laughs> this stream is offensive to asexuals. Well, looks like I'm starting a podcast. But I can't, <laughs> can't tell jokes anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I almost replied to your tweet today, Justin, with the the video you tweeted of uh, ammunition getting verbally yeah, abused yeah, for right. being a woman. And mm -hmm. I was like, man, oh all the tweets that I'm going to make are just not going to be taken the right way. <laughs> I, I had to stop myself because I was like, hey, this, this is a really good opportunity for me to make a funny joke here. And then I played mm -hmm. the tape forward in my head and was like, nah, dude, <laughs> not at all. I just got to keep my mouth shut yeah. and like, yeah. yeah. Do you find I, that, like, as you're uh, growing in Twitter following, you're more inclined not to tweet things these yes, days? absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I would think so, yeah. I just tweet dumb shit day in, day out. Enjoy it. I tend to be going the other way, actually. I yeah. seem to be more free to tweet I things lately. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Do I, do I make you nervous? Do I make I'm you gonna nervous, erode? baby? Because <laughs> someone said on Reddit once that I should not be trusted with the NLSS brand, and I was just curious if that's true. Maybe I shouldn't be. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> wow. The title oh. of a podcast you would never listen to. Roundtable, 
or best way to own the libs? It's gonna hurt a lot more if Ryan put Roundtable on there. It's a bad <laughs> name. Does that make you name. nervous, baby? I recently deleted a tweet, made it like a little political joke, and I was like, yeah, people are immediately fighting in the replies. Yeah, I'm just gonna delete that. It's not worth it. A terrible name for a clown. Mr. Cream Pies or Gr <laughs> Grundle the Taint Burglar? <laughs> you can't run off with one of those. <laughs> all right. I got your taint. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's Pennywise. Yeah. I think, again, this person might be watching the show, but I was tweeting about Doomsday Preppers, which is like my part-time job. This is like days. the fifth time! I know! <laughs> and I, I, the tweet was basically like... I think we know what Ryan likes, You know, actually. there's yeah. like an EMP strike. How are you preparing for it? And they were like, we're teaching our eight-year-old how to shoot an assault rifle. And then I got like ten tweets that were like, ha-ha. And then one tweet that was like, please don't tweet about politics. I can't escape it anywhere in my life. So, of course, that was, I, that was me. I cyber-stalked them, and I clicked on their Twitter profile, and all their fucking tweets are about politics. And I'm like, maybe the problem is just that is with you, not with me making a joke about a child holding a machine that murders people. <laughs> but, like... Uh, actually, it's not the gun that murders people, Ryan, it's Pete. I don't... No, I tend to really like to go to Twitter to avoid politics. That's actually my go-to. <laughs> Yeah, why don't the bullets ever get blamed for killing people? It's not the guns that do it, it's the actual bullets. Toasters don't toast toast. People don't toast. A weird thing for a preacher to say to end every sermon. Dab on the sinners or I'm out, bitch. Dab on the sinners. I would attend that Someone's sermon probably week. said that before in context. Oh, for sure. You know, you're probably right. Damn. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, Wait. What does dabbing do? Practically not speaking? doesn't do anything. Don't do, don't do nothing. It annoys people who took an online IQ test and put it in their Twitter profile. Have all of you guys, I still haven't dabbed. Like, I dab. Actually, I dab I'm not dab. <laughs> no, I, I, I exclusively <laughs> dab ironically just to make people angry and it works amazing. Yeah, it works beautifully. That is your, it's my favorite emote in Fortnite. Of course, absolutely. Oh, you mean you dab in Fortnite? No, I dab in real life as well. The type of life they'll probably find on Mars. Very tiny Elon Musks or cinnamon. <laughs> no, I didn't dab on round table. I was the one that didn't. Mm, I did not do it. You can top. check the tape. I like dabbing. Do you? This is... Yeah. It's like giving a thumbs up or something like that. No. <laughs> is that like, if I asked you what other things do you like, would you say, I like dabbing? I mean, that would be like a hundred. That's too generic. That's not specific enough. I said music, that wasn't good, so why does dabbing count? Dabbing is very specific. Next one. No, it's an expression of emotion, just like music it's is. A, it's it's a four-dimensional way to place your arms. Four-dimensional? The fourth dimension is a quick Go through time? Mode. I didn't hit the fucking enter button. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, so my answer was terrible. What was your answer? I had the letter F in there and couldn't think of something. And then <laughs> hit the enter button in time. That might have been better than a nice pillow. It probably would have was. I have a question. If you fire a gun into a, uh, oh like a wind, that like an extremely, like an air tunnel, you know, the, the wind tunnels, if you fire it into one blowing back at you, can the wind be strong enough to stop the bullet so it just falls, like falls down and just drops? In real world terms, absolutely not. Uh -huh. No, it could, it just is like math at that yeah, point. Yeah, well, like, I mean, the, the wind would have to be blowing like, 4,000 miles an hour or something like that. Like, what if you could have a bulletproof chest where, like, it just excretes this tiny little beam of wind that's so strong the bullet <laughs> As soon as you through. tried to hold out the gun, your arm would just snap off of your torso. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe that would work, too. How do you feel about ventriloquism? Hate it. Hate it? <laughs> really, really Only dumb. form of comedy I despise. Not Man. big on it, yeah. That's a thing. Is it just because of Jeff Dunham? Yes. Mm. Like exclusively because of him? Yes. Something you wouldn't expect a Ouija board to say. I'm dead, bitch. Let me sleep. Sup. It's true. Sup. ASL. Yanny. Or made by Milton Bradley. Two people Three want to sup, votes huh? coming to Yanny. <laughs> Laurel. <laughs> it's funny to you because I almost put Yanny. <laughs> Yanny. I hear Kofefi. Laurel. <laughs> hey, we're not supposed to go political. <laughs>
Don't become political on us now. <laughs> is that me? That was you. <laughs> What's Uck? It's a Smash joke. Uh, oh. It's a version of Melee that is like, it changes the way the controller is inputted or something. And uh, people think that it causes more phantoms, but it actually doesn't. But there's a meme about it. It's called, don't worry about it. It's really complex. And it was really just for those people. Thank What's you. a phantom? Thank you for cutting phantom that off. Phantom hit is when you hit someone and their hit doesn't register. It's rare, but it happens. Oh, cool. Yeah. It told me I voted for Austin, but I absolutely didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought a phantom hit is when you put ice in the bong so it feels like you didn't breathe in any at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yanny! Dude, it's May. Why girl. isn't weed legal in Canada yet? I thought it was supposed to happen on 420 for maximum meme potential. That would be great. They're really dragging their heels on this one. I'm surprised it's not, like, legal, legal in Canada. I mean, there's, like, a... There's billions of dollars in stores that are just open and you can buy from, I guess. That's what I mean. Like, I've been told by it's... many non-cop friends of mine that <laughs> you can just walk into any dispensary with cash and, and receive some. Oh, it's July 18th. Ah, happy July 18th, everybody. Blaze it. <laughs> It's so not legal in the Netherlands. 7, I thought you had you had like coffee shops where nineteen-year-old well, tourists yeah, go and get baked as hell. Well, you know, recently, like a couple days ago, the mayor of New York, Bill De Blasio, said, "Hey, cops, stop arresting people for weed." Doesn't really mean anything legally, but he said it for some reason. Washington State is also uh, vacating all weed charges for the last like five years or something oh. cool it's not that cool it's pretty cool man i mean why, what if i murder to... somebody and i just hope that murder becomes legal in the next five years like aren't we sending the wrong message to criminals <laughs> yeah you know what you're right about that i didn't think about it that way <laughs> I'm, I'm so mind flooded. I can't answer like, this. yeah, this is hard because I want to make a reference, but it'll make me seem really bad. Mm. Do it, you want? You're, what you do is you pick one of our names and then you put that in a colon, so it looks like <laughs> we're saying it. Uh, uh, I'm gonna run out of time. I'm just gonna. Oh yeah, this, this is gonna be you a had like five. forty seconds. Oh. Okay. Well, <laughs> an unusual theme for a kid's lunchbox. Jesus dabbing on a sinner or self-defense? Okay, I've crowdsourced this joke. I've got seven lulls now, so I think it's acceptable to tell. Kratos walks into a gas station and walks to the ice freezer. The attendant walks up and asks what he's looking for. Kratos says, I need to buy Frost. This, you remember, like, two hours ago, I said when you make your own setup for the punchline, it's the worst kind of humor ever made. Combined with video game humor. I like to tell my jokes because I think it's fun. Give me, me one good reason why I shouldn't spank you right now. I don't have a good enough ass. What? Me? I don't oh. have a fuckable ass. Damn it. Oh, yeah, y'all just like the curse words, huh? I see how it is. If I just say the fuck word all the time, that's what'll get votes. You see this comedian over here? He doesn't have to curse in order to make people laugh. I like that. That's what I like about him. He's clean. He's friendly to the kids. There's Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff. But what's the Hogwarts house few have ever heard of? Snigeldorf or Publisher's Clearinghouse? You aren't actually going to spank me, right? <laughs> I was thinking about it. Have you oh, been a boy. bad boy? <laughs> Okay, stop. Yeah, yes, I have. That's one, one of those shows, huh? <laughs> if you say the word boy pussy bear taffy, I will die happy. There you go. Thor's brother walks into a clothing store. Oh, what really? do? Publisher's Clearinghouse is what they, really resonated with They said, with uh, sir, can I help you with something? He says, yeah. yes, I'm looking for something not flashy. I want to be low key. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> what makes well done. Hot dogs taste so good. The bones or Lenny face? I'm buying you a drink after that for that joke. That was mm. a good one. You sir have won the internet. I'd love to see a new play. <laughs> <laughs> so you made your own setup. I did indeed. Thor's brother locked into <laughs> a locksmith. Stop okay, stop. The most popular t-shirt slogan in Mississippi, probably. 
<laughs> Here's how to spell our state name or stupid libs. That's stupid. Everyone knows how to spell Mississippi. M I S S I S S I P P I. It's the only name of like the complicated names that everyone knows yep. how to spell. You'd spell Tennessee for me. That's the one. Yeah. Fuck Massachusetts. It's got PP in it. You know what's a fucked up state name? Is Hawaii. Hawaii. It, really it really looks like it should just be said like Hawaii. Hawaii. <laughs> Isn't that a different language though? <laughs> Not anymore. Great a great brand, brand name for extra extra, extra, extra large condoms. condoms. Hogschlong or Roberts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, Rob, you're muted. Oh, you're right. I am. Yep. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got you. I was I feeling mean, you'd have something to say you, about you this. You came into that mad. So I don't know what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was saying, I was a couple of things. I was a little bit mad that uh, Publishers Clearinghouse resonated with chat better than Sniggledorf. I voted um, for it. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm, I'm sure there's a timely reference. Everybody loves Publishers Clearinghouse. And then also, <laughs> they... Like, hey, I feel the need to defend myself. It's not like <laughs> Sniggledorf is clever. It just sounds, like, weird. Yeah. You're fair. Yeah. It's, 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 that's true. But, uh, weird. And also, the one that was voted up was Stupid Lips. Come on now. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a terrible, terrible answer. I, should I got be zero points. Oh You're mad God. they voted for yours? Yes, I oh, should no. be punished. <laughs> Bears going to the B-Rex club. Do you guys keep up with the discourse? No. Just in general? I mean, like, what, what the fuck are you talking about, first of all? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually very clever. <laughs> yeah, what are you? I want to know actually what discourse. Something like the discourse. Do you guys keep of up what? with it? You know, the the people are the goings and comings of uh, still of the world the at large. Yeah, the world at large. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. Watched, I watched the Philip DeFranco show. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Radical centrist identified. <laughs> oh, be a radical centrist? No. Mm -hmm. You just go deeper, I guess. You can. You go east or west or deeper. I guess like the deepest centrist would be a person who's catatonic. Maybe that's where the deep state is under the centrist. <laughs> that's such a. <laughs> that's a very interesting thing to consider. <laughs> the worst the charity. Save the. <laughs> Rich or save the rich. That's better than <laughs> just <laughs> uh, the jinx there. All right. Yeah. Three real. A unique way to escape from prison. Convince oh, them it's done. not a prison or cheetahs. Oh. oh. I would love to watch Darren Brown ba uh, break out of prison. Not bake out of prison until July 18th anyway. Um, and by just convincing the guards it was no longer a prison. Yeah. This now isn't a jail. <laughs> why would you? Why would you be wasting your time at a prison? It's like that scene in the Prestige well, where he drops the ball and the guards all laugh at him, and then really he handcuffed the guard to the table. Hey, got him, man! <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know. A prison is actually a sociological construct if you think about it. Yeah, but it also has like iron bars. <laughs> iron bars. <laughs> right, but if if the people who guard the people in behind the bars don't function as the guardians. How many millibars? How many millibars person? until Albert Einstein? A horrible pickup line. <laughs> this is crazy. Hey, are you an angel? Because holy <laughs> shit, ha ha. Or Jordan Peterson says you owe me a hand job. Oh, man. <laughs> They're both really good. That first one's fucking hilarious. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Being taken out of context. <laughs> you pill, <feel>, bro? <laughs> Are you in this kid's holy shit? Next <laughs> one. <laughs> a prank oh, the Supreme Court justices no, probably. A prank play the on each Supreme other. Court justices probably play on each other. Telling each other it's Alt F4 to cast a vote or put some itching powder on those robes. They're going so to cut not. off your head, manana. <laughs> good old laser mission. There's some real good moments in a Braxis Ooh, Yeah, a Braxis is real good. A rejected man for tater tots. Tater squats or potato pellets. Tater tats. Tater tats? <laughs> I need some tater tats. Toter tates. Potentates. Tater tots. Some... Teeter tits. Tootin toots. Chubby fries. Hey. <laughs> good one. 
And Doobie? <laughs> the absolute worst moment for a bird to poop on you. Mouth open to the pouring rain or when you're trying to poop on it. <laughs> I'd watch that homeless show. <laughs> what would be like the Kama Sutra position of you trying to poop on a bird but it manages to poop on you? You'd be trying to poop on each other's asses. So the bird would poop in your ass? It's no, like a really big like bird. Into each other. Yeah. Don't you need to be on a plane? How are you getting above the bird? Oh, it's on the ground. <laughs> Birds don't have to be flying, Nick. <laughs> it's a thing. <plane. laughs> Wait, you're telling me they can land? Yeah, they, <laughs> they sleep while, while see flying, like sharks. Let's see what happens. <laughs> also, there's no plural to shark, it's just uh, like shark. shark. Like shark. Like, yeah, like shark. It's really nice that chat keeps reminding us how to play code names. <laughs> <laughs> a good puck replacement if they run out of... Excuse me, I was reading that. What's the last time you guys had tater tots? Within the last uh, week. The other day. Yeah. Really? You guys are up on the tater tot world. I went to a restaurant and they offered tater tots as an upsold right, substitution and I opted in because it's been yeah. a good month. What I'm all all right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can treat yourself on it. <laughs> <laughs> a good puck replacement if they run out of pucks in a game of hockey. Libs, just door dash some more pucks. Fucks, a tic tac, trash, or AOL installation disc. You know, actually, I think I might have an AOL installation disc in my room. Yeah, you do. I think I do. <laughs> How do you know that, Nick? <laughs> But they hang around whether you want them or not. We, uh, one time back in the day, we brought, like, a stack of 50 of them to my church gym and just <laughs> threw them up in the air and shot them yeah. with a BB gun. That oh, was... nice. <laughs> um, many questions. First question. Yeah. <laughs> church gym. Church gym, yeah. Church yeah. Gym. Your church Very gym. common thing when you're a Mormon. Huh. Mm, Every geez. church has a gym in it. Do you... At, and a bill. At mass, do you work out, or is it like no, if you're a, like okay, if you're a member see, of a congregation, can you go there for free? Is there a membership fee? So it's not like weightlifting gym. It's like a basketball court because every single oh, Mormon right. plays basketball. Utah Jazz. That's like yeah. yeah, it's a weird Wait. thing we do. We're all we're all Mormons that play ball, and like you see, you can see like YouTube videos of missionaries that can duck. Like <laughs> it's a weird phenomenon. Okay, secondary question, Bear. Do Mormons also have re-education camps? Oh. Yeah, probably. Wait, I, I was making that as a joke. I know, but yeah. like, <laughs> That was too real, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> really. <laughs> That's the end. the one go. I went to when I was a kid had an actual weightlifting gym, and you ever see Jesus on the crucifix? He's ripped as fuck. And they're like, you gotta be like Jesus, which means be ripped as fuck. <laughs> lift weight. He's really more toned. Be yourself. I, don't, I really like the idea of like jacked missionaries. <laughs> Dude, they can they can fucking they will dunk on your bitch ass. Hey, the you got a second to talk missionary. about the Lord, bro? <laughs> you try to you try to close the door. They put their hand in it. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> They just Not punch through. Whole lives <laughs> no, but like you got a minute. Don't ruin it. Not doing it. Some missionaries came by, uh, well, they didn't actually come by my house, uh, but they were on my street yesterday. They're called sub-missionaries, because they make you submit. <laughs> uh, I was going to invite them in and see if they wanted to play God of War, because I think that's the right thing to do. I think <laughs> yeah, when, when, when more that. missionaries come by, like, give them a chance to participate in the real world again. And yeah, give them a sacrilegious video game. Enjoy. Yeah! I'm Dude, serious! Someone in my chat during God of War was like, how fucked up would it be if... Like in the next God of War game, Kratos just like murders Jesus Christ. <laughs> I want that. I actually had that same discussion. Like that would be a very bold decision. He just tears him in half. <laughs> Crushes his skull with his own crucifix or something. Yeah. Like that. That's Through not overly eyes. violent. Kratos does that all the time. He's just like wrecking people with enormous structures. 
No bullshit, when me and my friends were younger, we had a bunch of Mormons approach us and say, if they beat us in a game of 21, we have to listen to them <laughs> preach. That's and great. they beat our ass. Oh no! They yeah. will do. They also do. We're not like a normal Mormon. We're like cool Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> we're ballin' Mormons. And the thing about church ball too is, it's like one of the most violent and church vicious ball. sports. I it's know, I love like, how it has its own term. They get so angry and like, you'll hear more curse words in a church ah. ball game than like on a Navy ship. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Sorry, Austin. You never know when you're going to need insurance. You could wake up tomorrow and someone crashed your car that you rented out or be fucking dead. Well, then you wouldn't wake up. Right? So I know it's part of the goddamn joke, Rob, okay? <laughs> just, this is sort of philosophical circular reasoning shit we got. We don't need to here. be worried about philosophical circular reasoning for a goddamn quick flash. Mostly it was the the F word I thought would get people because that's what I learned from the last round of answers. I mean, you're right, yeah. Oh, yeah, it worked. Yeah, hey, look at that. People love the fuck, yeah. They, uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't the fuck, it was just better. <laughs> mm. okay, that too. Yeah. It was just that I didn't like the person who submitted the other one. Yeah, yeah. Wow! Jeez. <laughs> Take it to the next level, huh? The worst theme for a pinball machine. Swole Mormons or George Bush mission accomplished. Man, these are actually both really fun to yeah. picture. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> like Chippendale style layout, but just Mormon boys wearing shirts and ties. <laughs> She's <laughs> really honed in on the word boys. <laughs> yeah, just, just kind of went right for that one. That's what got you. Mormon strippers is like giving me a weird mental picture of like two extremely white guys who have their shirts tucked in despite not wearing any pants. <laughs> it's like the shirt like their tucked tighties, into right? their legs. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's freaking me out, man. <laughs> Invent a what holiday the that you think everyone would enjoy. Literally any excuse for a three Dow weekend or try yeah. not day. I voted that for that for just because it said Dow. I did as well, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Oh, the Dow. yeah. I think maybe the Buddhist gods would be better than Christian Jesus for God of War, because there's eight of them, and there's an actual war god called Begtse uh, from Mongolia. <laughs> There's also a conqueror of death named Yamantaka. So, like, this Ooh. feels like the kind of stuff Kratos loves to rip apart. Mm. Does like tearing things. What like doesn't Kratos like to rip apart? Blue elephant. Just go to fucking town. <laughs> That's Are a they... lot of arms to rip. I mean, hey, hear me out. If Hinduism and <laughs> Buddhism are on the table, Christianity should be on the table too. Yeah, no, we all. Oh, no, I'm not saying it shouldn't be. I just think this is more likely because there's more gods. Yeah, it's a fair point. <laughs> That's all. Why are geese answer. such jerks? They got all them teeth and no toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> or have you considered they're having a bad day? <laughs> I didn't see that come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm seeing spots. I breathed in too hard. <laughs> oh, I lost. <laughs> That's a good one, too, though. Oh, all them teeth. <laughs> what do you want your Mama gravestone said. to read? He liked a party, or what license. do you want on your tombstone? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I don't get it, actually. I don't get it. Personally. I don't understand. It's like, and oh, you know, how, like when they're naming the baby, it's like, hey, what do you want to name the baby? What do I want to name the baby? All right, that's a weird name, but here you go. That's the name of your baby now. I was actually just uh, referencing the commercial for the Tombstone, commercial, where yeah, they said, yeah. what do you want on your Tombstone as a pizza? Oh, I thought that, okay, so I, I read it into it completely differently. Yeah. Your version's fine, you. too. I was with you, man. Yeah. Was, uh, to, each, to each their own, you know? We yeah. find humor in our own ways. I'm happy I denied the quiplash. Because <laughs> I still haven't been convinced the explanation didn't do it for me. Yeah. That's well, you know what? You're not the like. fucking Let's gatekeeper of comedy, okay? In this case, I am. Enjoy our own damn jokes. <laughs> You know what, Bear? When you said fuck in that sentence, it made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, right? It works! <laughs> Ryan, did you watch Agra Tsuko yet? No. Okay. I'll yeah. check again on Monday when Hafu's here. She sent me a Hello. Skype message last night and said, <laughs> I'm reminding you to watch Agra Tsuko <laughs> by Monday. And I said, I will. Okay. I said, I will. Ha ha ha.
The best part about being Donald Trump. Eating McDonald's three times a day or the fucking and grabbing. This came out like three or four years ago, didn't it? The Squiplash. Mm -hmm. They really prepared for the future on this one. They did. Chad, yeah, you really let me down on this one. <laughs> <laughs> they hate the F word. It worked. Come up with a bad tourism slogan for the old faithful geyser. It fucking blows or old faithful <laughs> big loads. <laughs> So you guys uh, heard about the updates to my privacy policy? Would you like <laughs> oh, well, you're going to need to email those to I'm me. I'm going to go ahead and send that out. Yeah, just make sure you're staying informed with my privacy. Absolutely. <laughs> I tweeted a joke about uh, getting those emails, and I had one person who's definitely a European. They tweeted me and were like, sorry, in Europe, we care about something called consumer's rights, which you wouldn't understand as an American. Oh, wow! And I was like, wow! Geez. As Amazing. an American. Everything you just said was wrong. <laughs> you probably Dude, shouldn't actually, hire a moving company called Steal Yo Shit or Camel Towing. I, I, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. Why would you hire a towing company to move? <laughs> <laughs> You've already made your first mistake. <laughs> you gotta tell all your camels. So I opened Crusader Kings 2 the other day, and uh, they had a new EULA. That was like, hey, yeah, uh, so we're going to track your location, data, purchase history. And it's like, I'm playing a game about, yeah. like, I'm playing a map game. What are you tracking my location data for? A secret to being a great kisser. Teeth or, I'm just going to let you know, Justin, I was riding more teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and more teeth would have destroyed teeth. It's like a mathematical relationship. I just want to say also, I did camel towing, and that is a real company. So, oh, good. Oh. just so you know. Oh. Surprising first words for your baby to speak. P equals NP, or fuck votes, please. <laughs> Don't do it, chat. What fuck? I have, Don't very, do fuck. I have a very bad, overly long, self-indulgent joke I need to do about Rob talking about his end user licensing agreement. Ooh, okay. EU, 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 LA. E is the way you say it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, like and that's enough. That doesn't have to be. Yeah, that's pretty good, yeah. Oh, it betrayed me. Why? I thought wow. that was sure. Chat, come on. You A new word for the... people that drive too slow in the fast lane. lane. God fucking damn it, move you fucking ass fuck shit, or snail pee. <laughs> that's gotta win, right? That's like tripling down on the fuck. I wanna vote for the fuck, but also snail people's I love snail people. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's not just, a new word either. It tickles me inside. It's just two old words. <laughs> Right, yeah, I didn't really read that very well, to be you honest. you got five <laughs> friends that all love you, and you're talking to chat. We're trying to have conversations with you. It's this just, guy. I have, like, a really good brain. And, like, the conversation <laughs> here is, like... <laughs> the conversation here is doing good stuff, but it's, like, there could... There's a whole other, like, 70% really processing power that I could use with chat as well. <laughs> Multi-threading. Exactly. Yeah. Would you say you have the best words? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm responding to any be. Donald Trump references because my <laughs> clever Donald Trump answer lost. The last <laughs> so I'm abstaining Everyone for now. A dab on the sinners from Cat is pretty good. Your prompt is. Okay. Yeah, did a door open or a chair for die? Or... Showing up to work? It's kind of did a chair, chair die? die? <laughs> yeah. A chair exploded? I'm a stable penis. <laughs> <laughs> The worst excuse for showing up late for work. Snail people. No answer. I fucked Donald Trump. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. This isn't actually work, so I'm not late. Or you didn't want to be there. That's not fair, you can't have snail people. I didn't authorize it. I gave three votes to snail people. Oh, <laughs> god damn it! Yeah. I'm gonna really ask! Because I beat snail people, and now I might win with snail people. No! <laughs> He's perfect. Yo, snail. hang on. Hang on. No answer is an answer. That, that is the worst excuse mm. for showing up late. That before. would be pretty oh, bad. Yeah. That is why I didn't answer. Thank you. <laughs> That's brilliant move. That's so no, next level, Justin. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's incredible. What if your boss just came in to chew you out about being late and you just pretended he wasn't there? 
Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, or you were Darren Brown, and you convinced him that you were the boss. Stacy's the boss. Oh, wait, no, who's the boss? Mom. Angela? I think Angela's the boss. Angela. Yeah, I, I've never seen the show because I'm not 100. Wow. I haven't seen the show, but I've seen Community, which references the show. Oh. Let's go. Nail people. <laughs> Nail. Extremely big victory. Yeah. <laughs> I really hate that. <laughs> contentious opinion, I think Mike German Trout might be the second coolest character in Breaking Bad. That is yeah. Did you yeah, say controversial opinion? I said contentious. There. <laughs> okay, what were you ready to crucify me over there? <laughs> I don't think you can have a, a contentious opinion about Mike Gurman Trout. Unless you're like, he's an old piece of shit. Wait, is that his <laughs> name or is Everybody that the actor? No, that's the character. <laughs> no, yeah, Everybody that's loves Mike Gurman Trout. Okay, everyone, vote yeah. for your favorite. Well, he's what my number one. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan Banks. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> <laughs> the Lost Hemingway book. The old man and the older man, or the old man and the much younger man. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's, uh, I think it's, it's, it's my favorite book series. <laughs> the Man of Various Ages series. <laughs> Can this just be a jinx? Can we set an auto jinx? <laughs> Vote for a jinx. Wow, it was very close in voting, too. Come up with the name of a country that doesn't exist. Gina or Garfield? <laughs> yeah. It's a I think one. Garfield Gina. Oh, yeah, Ooh. I'm into that. I, I don't know why I was. I felt compelled to say just now, I want to stuff it in Garfield's Gina. Like, why would I want to <laughs> say that? What, yeah. what compels me to have that thought? Yeah. No, I, I, no, I don't blame you, actually. Yeah. I once asked um, what you would put in a truck, so, you know. This is a literal 50-50? Exactly <laughs> oh equivalent votes. <laughs> Is that possible? <laughs> well, yeah, Rob, if you have an even number and you divide yeah, yeah. it. <laughs> a good sign that you may be a ghost. Got a ghost dick? <laughs> or you keep getting busted? I think it might be a ghost. Hang on, let me check. Oh, yeah, I like... no, definitely. Yeah, that's a ghost dick. <laughs> this has been a good quip. Mm. It's been a good round of quippers. Best to make my feel good. That might be the best oh, answer to get a quiplash. And I, I know yeah, it's my answer, yeah. but it was good. Got a ghost stick. Can and ghosts and jerk off? Activity at a real cool. Do they have yeah. ghost semen? What do they reproduce? To more ghosts? Maybe they make more ghosts. Maybe they make a living being. What? <laughs> Every if... time a ghost fucks, someone dies. That's what someone I was gonna impregnated. say. <laughs> Every time a ghost comes, a life is stripped from this <laughs> world. <laughs> You know, when people were like, oh my god, it was so sudden. Like, he was just there, and then he was dead. That's when a ghost busted in that. some ethereal moaning while he died. It was very strange. So there's no Grim Reaper. There's just some ghost getting their chains rattled. <laughs> it was kind of hot, though. I, I think it was dead cold. The real reason the dinosaurs died. Gun violence, or they were dumb as hell. Dude, next round, this would have been ghost orgy and ghost orgy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually what Yo, the Black Plague was, a ghost orgy. But yeah, every man. time a human being busts a nut, it kills a ghost. Oh my god! It's an eternal oh, war! Wait, so that's why no the nut warfare. <laughs> we're clearly in the lead here. Yeah, we're crushing <laughs> How do you know how many ghosts there are? I'm doing I mean, my part. I mean, if you bust in one nut a day and there's seven billion people on the planet, what else does a ghost have to do about bust nuts all day? That's what, what else you do think, we have fuckers. To do but bust nuts? <laughs> we have to talk about video games on the internet. Animals with the faces still on them. A good name for a restaurant that serves animals with the faces still on them. Owning the libs or adult animal crackers. It's been a constant today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lib ownership. Fuck the libs. The only way to stop a bad ghost with a nut is a good <laughs> ghost with a nut. <laughs> <laughs> we need to cheer up way too many times. God, I can see Thanos killing a ghost. I hope they remember you. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen Infinity War, um, but whenever spoilers? I 
<laughs> Whenever anyone impersonates Thanos, it just sounds like Kylo Ren. I remember you. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't want to take over the world, Barry. He's a more nuanced villain than that. <laughs> I'm going to take over the whole universe. I'm Thanos. Yeah, I'm good. Some very ambitions. He has a very particular thing he wants, and he will stop at nothing. Uh, I'm Thanos. I got a big old dick. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my swinging dick, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos is actually an old southern man. <laughs> Dang old <laughs> Avengers man. <laughs> Stop me bringing dang old balance to the universe, man. <laughs> That's what the song's about. Bustin' makes me feel good. Yeah. It's about uh... the war. <laughs> the great war. <laughs> the war that no one knows was being waged. The nut war rages on in the underworld. <laughs> I shouldn't have written my first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. No, it's just really sad. I almost... It's not even, like, offensive. It's just people are going to be like, Oh, I remember that. That was a really sad story. <laughs> oh, man. Something is not a good idea to put in the overhead bin on an airplane. Snakes or your dog? Oh yeah, no, yeah, that happened. That, oh, why'd you say that, man? That was a real thing. Oh, no. I don't want to even talk about it. It's We're fine. Gonna... Let's if, turn on a dime. <laughs> if all dogs go to heaven, oh boy, is it that those dogs are masturbating to kill the? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nick. <laughs> No problem. <laughs> I'm sick of this. Now, hold on. Presenting new ideas. I'm sick of this undertone in the chat that you get to play around with. This is this is nonsense. Don't be mad. You mean Ryan like under? Quickly. Yeah, he's he's got a whole undercurrent of his own making going on. Ridiculous. It's multi-threaded yeah. comedy. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> what Michelangelo said is he chiseled David's penis. Sick. Or cowabunga, look at this hog. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I want to take my boat back. Oh, I want to retroactively delete the actual artists and replace them with instances of the actual Ninja Turtles in real life. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like Leonardo Danchovi? Sure. The best cure for a hangover. Keep drinking until you black out, or a hung under. Nice. Wouldn't the Ninja Turtles' last name be Splinter? <laughs> Do you think that Splinter fight? Yeah, the, this was yeah, my exact question. Who do you think April O'Neil? Fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Splinter it's... is a rat. Yeah, he's right. How does what? a newswoman and a rat make turtles? But he is their. He might not be their biological fathers. Correct. Might but he's their adopted. <laughs> 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 There's a chance. I mean, it's not a big one, but... We are talking about turtles that are mutants, that have become ninjas, trained by this rat. The name of a new cologne inspired by celebrity chef Guy Fieri. Bam or Chicane Grise. <laughs> I gotta say, though, Bam is not his word. It's Emerald Emerald Lagasse. Emeralds? Yeah, Emerald Lagasse. That is, that is the joke, yes. That's okay. wrong, though, is... <laughs> Emeril Lagasse is the one who says BAM. Yeah. Do you know about Emeril, Rob? He says, let's kick it up a notch. <laughs> yeah. heard of this guy. So I can't vote for it, it's factually inaccurate, so... Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Please try to fact check next time before this that makes it. That is indeed the joke, yeah. That's... <laughs> you guys nailed it. Just, you know, check next time. <laughs> what Smokey the Bear does when he's not fighting forest fires? Smokes weed or cucks libs? <laughs> yeah. What's the difference? Ah, <laughs> nice. Bam. Would, so, you know, we would be libs. Yes. Are they cons? What the fuck what? are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just saying, we, we are, you know... Kansas? No, Kansas. Kansas. No, you know, what are you saying? There. Why the fuck do you have the V? Well, I mean, you know, otherwise you don't know what uh, what you're talking about. Because if you're talking about cons, 
then, uh, you know, you're thinking about X cons. <laughs> this is there. I would think about current cons, not X cons. <laughs> Three things MacGyver needs to make a bomb an orange, a car engine, and a liter of ghost cum, or alcohol, a woman, and a bomb. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles didn't start out as humans? No, they no. were turtles. They stepped into the radioactive ooze and they became. I thought there were humans that walked into the ooze and turned into turtles. No. It's pretty fucked I mean, up. You think cooler, there's but... like four parents out there, four sets of parents looking for their kids. They don't know their kids got turned into crime fighting turtles. <laughs> I thought they gave up looking. That's the plot to Stranger Things, I think. That's only, <laughs> they only look for like 48 hours and it's a cold case and they're dead. This and they also all really named their children after Renaissance you, painters. Yeah, well, they, they took the names. They took the names after the fact. Didn't you watch Stranger Things? <laughs> I just said that. God damn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. <laughs> A new slang for impotence. Bam, bam, dude. Can you imagine, like, in the in the German Empire in like 1835, a bunch of like, you know. Teenagers fuck into polka music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think about it constantly. Why oh, wouldn't that be normal? Oh, oh, Fraulein, put on some music to set the mood. <laughs> the Germans, the Germans <laughs> fuck, man. They fuck. <laughs> Germans fuck. <laughs> I, I think sometimes, like, what different cultures have the most sex? I think Germans are up there past. Maybe the French are ahead. Of them. <laughs> It's sad boy noodle. <laughs> a new slang for impotence. Importance, fully cumped out. Ryan, a hang under, limpy dimp, or sad boy noodle. S A B B O Y. -S. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. It's unfortunate, but you you got a case of sad boy noodle. We'll have <laughs> medication and get you sorted out. It's a rare case. You you've got a very sad noodle, boy. Yeah. I'm so thankful I've never had sad boy noodle. Yeah. You know what a sad boy noodle is called in Japan? No, nah, what? Nah, man. Because it's like, nah, man. You okay. can't get it up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man noodles? I gave you a chance to get out, but... I mean, you know. We had such a good show, and then he had to say that shit at the end. <laughs> Fuck. I can tell the Kratos joke again. Yes. <laughs> An impotent Kratos walks into a Japanese noodle hut. Kratos is never impotent! <laughs> Watch your tone, boy! Boy. Sad boy, noodle. <laughs> I'm Don't try to boy. get hard, be hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh no, that's like, I don't like this that's, anymore. That's probably already a topic on the internet. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really considering context when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> really making missteps today. I think last week when I was on here, I pretty much just said fuck young boys or something like that. Yeah, you did, yeah. You <laughs> did do that, yeah. <laughs> That'll happen. <laughs> just, uh, you say, yeah, like, we've gone to, for so long without having these slip-ups. I think yeah. we're just sort of yeah. letting them go under the bridge really quick. Well, I'm going to end the show forever now. Uh, we yeah. start with, let's, let's pimp our channels. Why don't we start with Justin? Uh, I was going to ask Austin, you want to play Fortnite for an hour? Uh, maybe no, but, answer. but Austin Whoa! won't come by to you. <laughs> <laughs> On the uh, spot, damn. How about you, Austin? What are you doing that's so important after this? Uh... <laughs> well, you know, I actually have a funeral to go to, Ryan, so that's pretty oh, 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 I don't. I just wanted you to feel bad for a second. Oh, my God. <laughs> my Those heart. Things. I'm actually going to play Fortnite with Justin, I think. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, the turnaround. Turn you around, think that is a funeral? Wow. Oh, damn. The buzzer beater. Fortnite. <laughs> Turn swing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, how about you, Bear Taffy? Download my rap EP. It's great. I li I, it's actually pretty good, I think. I it, like is. it is. It is, actually. It yeah, it's very good. Bandcamp.com. Yeah, you go download that. And yeah. Wow. My God, man. You gotta. <laughs> Ease off. This That's is a very good personal. score. Dude. It's not a good score. You know that. 
being in this industry so long. <laughs> That is a that's a that's a damning score. That's a music I, seven, not a game I'll never seven. Make it out of this industry with a seven. Come on, you gotta <laughs> give me some support here. I'm I'm done. You can go to the next person. Oh, you're a Bear Taffy fan? Name three of his EPs. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Robert? Last movie night, um, somebody came into my chat and was like, uh, yeah, you're actually competing because another streamer is streaming uh Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring. Right <laughs> oh <now."> my god. <laughs> We were winning, though, right? I think so, yeah, funnily enough. I, li I like uh, Corey's idea for me here for EP titles. Uh, the first one that I'll put it out after this is This is Bear, which, you know, very self-reflective. And then right. after that, I'll release an, an EP called That Was Bear. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. You know, just really hammering the point home about the first one. Uh-huh. And then what's so, the third one? The third one will be uh, Bear is No, no More. Bear. Um, oh, yeah, I and thought it gets it was real gonna... deep. Goodbye, man, like, bear. Real deep. But then, then you come back and you, the bear is back. You know. Yeah. You should and make then, one call. Bear. Barely the... breathing. Yeah. A whole right. bunch of bear puns after that. Okay. Okay. And then, and then the fifth one would be uh -huh. all of those four other ones were also bear. So you, just, <laughs> you just, like, you know, you just debate them after the fact. I remain bear to yeah. this day. All right. Yeah. You go ahead. Break it, break it, bear. Bear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Nicholas, how about you? How come funerals are never at night? Because you can't Probably see where the hole right? is. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, like what I'm thinking. Oh my is... god! Did you... <laughs> because you, you can't see where the hole I is. I mean, with a hole in the ground, we can bury him, Rob. <laughs> oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> All right. Also, don't feel bad that Ryan gave you a seven because Jim Sterling gave Breath of the Wild a seven. And that's a pretty How dare he? How dare he? <laughs> So we're gonna hang up on you. See you so guys told later. What the hell later. Later. Didn't we want to give him a chance? Can you please tell us how you feel about your little Canadian bro, Lil Windex? Lil Windex, BC Underground Hip Hop. Who's Lil Windex? Lil Windex, best rapper alive or dead? Lil Windex interview on Bitcoin Cash versus Bitcoin Core. Lil Windex, three thousand followers on Twitter. One of his recent tweets, where's your favorite place to loot in Fortnite? I've decided I like him. <laughs>